Hi guys, welcome back to Cat's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making several dishes throughout the day, so definitely stay in tune with that. Right now we are going to start off the day with steak and eggs and sweet potatoes. So right now I just have our steak. We rinsed the blood off and then you want to pat it dry and also it's been resting outside of the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. You want to make sure that you do that. Um, it will definitely it just helps with the resting time and how the meat cooks. It's just a little tip. Then we're gonna add some onion and garlic powder. I have pepper on there already. We're gonna do some of our favorite cowboy seasoning. Alrighty, so we have our cast iron skillet here heating up with a little bit of an oil. It is starting to smoke. Um, I've got it, I had it on a five and now I backed it off to like in between two and three. Um, you do want that to smoke a little bit. Now back here to our steak. After our seasonings are on, we're going to take a little bit of spicy brown. You can use whatever kind of mustard you enjoy. Yellow mustard works great too. Um, and then we're just going to rub this in here. If you've never tried mustard on your steak, definitely give it a try. S between beef and mustard, it absolutely goes gorgeous together. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We seasoned up this side. We're just gonna pick it up, drop it in the pan. You always wanna lay away from you in case it splatters. You never want to splatter back, and then we're gonna season this side in the pan. So just lay this down, and sometimes it needs a little help. And you wanna hear that sear right away. Hear that beautiful sear? That's gonna be, we're gonna lock in the flavors with that sear, so you wanna make sure you have that heat high enough and now I'm going to kick it up a little bit more. Mark likes his steak medium and I like my uh, mid rare. So how we're going to be able to accomplish that is th the way this steak is cut, it's a little bit thinner down here. So this one's going to get up to medium first and then this one's going to be mid, mid rare. So that's how we'll compromise with that. Okay, so next we're going to season the top here with the same seasonings. We've got onion powder, garlic powder, got our pepper. Steak definitely needs pepper and mustard. Those are the two main factors. Let me get our cowboy seasoning. This stuff is amazing on steaks. I'm even putting it in my ground beef too, and I'll explain that a little bit later. And then a little pinch of salt. Okay, so once you can see it start to pull away from the sides of the pan, you can see it start to come up a little bit. You know it's almost time to turn it. So we're just gonna take a little peek here. Not yet. See, I'll show you. It still is a little bit gray, but it's not really, really dark and brown like what we want. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a push. All right, guys, so now we're ready to flip our steak. We have the mustard and all the seasonings on this side. So we're just going to give it a nice little turn. I did pivot it, it was fading, I'm sorry, it was facing uh, vertical, I turned it horizontal. Uh, sometimes when you're working with a electric stove like this, you kind of have to figure out where your hot spots and cool spots are. Um, cast iron has a really good, you know, it radiates the heat very well, so um, it's really great for cooking meat in cast iron. Um, so we just turn this, like I said, I'm just, because it's curled up, Another thing that you can do, which I actually forgot to do, but what you can do is you can actually take a knife and cut slits in your fat, and then that'll help the steak to lay down whenever it starts curling up. I unfortunately forgot to do that this time, but it's a little tip out there, a little pro tip for you guys. So we're just gonna let this finish, and I'm actually gonna move it to the back here. Do a little bit more oil in this pan. olive oil. Get that right in there. 
And then we're going to start cooking our eggs because we're going to want those to be ready. And then we'll be dropping our toast. We've got our eggs here. Now there's a few different ways you can do eggs. You can cook them in the same skillet like I'm doing. A lot of people will frown on this. They'll say you need to use a non-stick. If you want to use a non-stick, that's perfectly fine too. I'll be honest, it's a little bit easier to use a non-stick. But we are doing some heavy duty cooking today. So we're gonna have a lot of dishes as it is. <laughs> So we got four eggs in there. We're just um, gonna let them cook a little bit before we season them. You don't wanna season your eggs until closer to the end of the cooking time. Okay, so now we're getting a nice sear on our steak here. See how beautiful that those brown bits are? All right, so now we're gonna test it out and see how, where it's at. We're gonna push here, so this is medium and see how this gives back a little bit, it springs back, and you can see there's a little bit of blood on top. So this is mid-rare, mid and this over here is medium. So then we'll just kind of cut this in half for Mark and I, and then we'll be perfect while we'll both of our temperatures. All right guys, so we pulled our steak off because it's done. You definitely want to let it rest at least about 15 to 20 minutes before you cut into that steak and eat it. Next, we're just gonna hit um, our eggs with some salt and pepper. This is fine salt and pepper. By fine, I just mean the coarse is really, really fine. I've made the mistake before by using my grinder on my eggs and it's just nothing but chewing on peppercorn and nobody likes that. <laughs> okay, so now these are, I would say about 90, 95% done. So what we're gonna do to end up cooking the rest of the whites around the yolks, because we're doing a sunny side up, is we're gonna steam these a little bit. So we're just gonna hit these with a little bit of water, and then we're gonna enclose it with a lid, and it really doesn't take much water. So these are gonna steam the rest of the way, Now I can turn my flame back to low or one, and these will literally be done in a matter of probably 30, 30 seconds. That, now I'm gonna drop my toast. And really that's it. We do have sweet potatoes. I did mention sweet potatoes before. I cooked these in the oven last night and got them prepared. So there's a few different ways you can do this. You can just, we can slice it and heat it, or we can um, scoop it out and mash it up. And that's kind of what I was going to do. So we're just gonna heat these up and then we'll see you guys back whenever we're plating all of this up. All right, you guys, so now we our steak has rested and we have the rest of our items plated on our right here. So like I said, the medium, you always wanna cut across the grain and try to cut on an angle. So hold your tongs, use your tongs to hold the meat. There you go, that's the mid-rare section. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off a little bit of this fat. This is a little bit fatty here. And, okay. And then we're just gonna hold this, cross cut, cut it on an angle. medium sounds good so then we will just plate it up here we have our baked smashed sweet potato one of our favorite things buttered toast eggs and our steak Alrighty guys, that's all we have for you right now.
Alrighty guys, that's all we have for you this time, but we actually are coming out with a lot more videos today. We have to pressure can ground beef and we're gonna be making um, a little dessert for later. It's gonna be a vanilla pudding pie. And then also we're gonna be making for dinner some beef ribs. So please stay tuned for that. Um, definitely would love to have you. So thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.